Hey guys, so today I'm 33 weeks and 5 days pregnant today, and it's Friday. Well, it just became Friday, so a lot of you guys are probably sleeping. It's 1 in the morning on Friday. The reason I'm not asleep is because it's not comfortable for me to sleep right now. Um, and it takes me a while to get to sleep, and I'm not really tired. Ow, my side hurts, but... So not a lot has happened this week. Um, I've gotten some more stretch marks on my hips. They're really, really little, but my hips have definitely been itching, and when I looked, sure enough, there were some new stretch marks. Um, so that is fun, and I've been putting lotion on and stuff, but not on my belly, just on my hips and my boobs. But um, I have a doctor's whoop, I have a doctor's appointment Monday at for my 33 week checkup, and I think that one, and then I have another two week appointment I see her at 33 and 35 weeks, and then it's every week. I think I'm not sure. I'll have to tell you guys on that on Monday. But I got two big packages from my sister this uh, yesterday and the day before that of clothes and diapers and pantyhose and little baby washcloths and all that stuff so thank you so much uh, I already sent you a video thanking you about that um, but if you see this one then thank you again and thank you for the lady that's making me bows I think her name's Rebecca she's making me bow bows for the baby so thank you to her um, and I asked my mom I also asked my mom to make me knitted or crochet hats, like the kind that I see on Etsy and stuff, but they're so expensive for shipping and handling. I would much rather just have somebody who knows how to make them, make them for me. And since she's coming in December, she can just hold on to them and then when they fly up here to give them to me, because I don't have the time, effort, and energy to put into making her hats before she's born. I just don't. There's so much other stuff that I'm sitting here worrying about with her nursery and all that stuff. So I asked my mom to do that and she said she's going to try to find some some patterns for her. Um, what else? The weather here has been crazy, ridiculously hot. I'm not even kidding how hot it has been. I have the air conditioning on because it's 80 degrees in our apartment and for me that is way too hot um but the next couple days is supposed to be really cold so we'll see uh we also live on the very top of the apartment complex and so i'm sure heat rises that's why it's so hot <laughs> but it's so hot in our apartment so um, we've been organizing baby clothes that my sister gave me, and she gave us some shoes, so we've been trying to do that, and organizing a little bit more. We got a shelf, a little three-step shelf from Meyer for her, and I just feel like there's so much, there's not enough bins and stuff to put everything in, so I might, we might get more stuff. They're like those plastic bins where they come in threes and they pull out like every Walmart, Target, anywhere sells them. But Meyer had one that's five and I kind of liked it and Dan definitely liked it. He wanted that one but I was like, no, I want to get the cube. The storage cubes with the little cubes that pop in, no. That was a terrible idea. So we're returning that <laughs> and we're keep getting the other thing instead because the cubes are just... I don't know. I don't like them as much now that we have them. It just wasn't it just wasn't worth it for me to put the effort and money and we put it together, but the cubes just were kind of like they didn't fit. They it said that that was for and they didn't fit. So, we're returning um the cube well, I actually don't I think we're going to return the cubes if Dan didn't throw the receipt away. He throws every receipt away we ever keep or we ever get so if he threw that away then we're keeping them <laughs> um, but they're purple so they match the butterflies anyway so um 
it's just there's so much stuff that we have that I'm I'm getting frazzled because I just don't know where to put everything. <laughs> we have this huge trunk full of clothes that's 12 months and beyond clothes that is going in a closet um, for when we move because we're moving in May out of this apartment. <sighs> and so the only thing that I have is zero to six month stuff in her dresser and then the six to nine month is going underneath her bed just in case if I don't know she's a big baby or whatever but um other than that nothing has really been going on this weekend or this week um symptoms I'm just tired I'm tired like crazy I can't get comfortable at night I wake up because Dan isn't here it's uncomfortable for me to sleep. Um, I do yoga and I do like exercises on my ball, but it's just, I don't know, I guess I'm just getting more and more uncomfortable. Um, so other than that, just been cleaning, trying to keep up on the cleaning around my apartment. And so my friend Erica comes home next weekend so that'll be exciting that I'll get to spend some time with her so other than that I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys my 32 week and 5 day belly <laughs> okay sorry excuse <laughs> me this side front just with the shirt up and like I said Dan says I've gotten bigger I can't tell but yeah this back here these right here are all new well besides these three like okay I can't even see these ones in the front but the ones like right there are definitely new. Here's the front. I don't know, this looks weird. Like this whole front area right here looks kind of weird to me. And the other side. But yeah, Dan says that I've gotten bigger, but I don't, I don't know. I can't tell. But. Alright, so I will post a video on how my doctor's appointment, ew, that is Dan's chew, like, where he spits his, that's gross, <laughs> where he spits his chew in, um, but anyways, I'll, <laughs> I'll post the video, um, probably maybe Monday or Tuesday of her, of our 33 week checkup. So, but other than that, I will see you guys for week 33.